안녕하세요. Hello, K friends. Before we get started, I have a quick update. I've recently received the silver play button from you too. It's all thanks to your amazing support, and I'm so grateful. To celebrate, let's make a special braised pork belly dish using fresh ingredients. It's one of the best braised pork belly dish I've ever had. Let's dive into. Today, I'm using fresh pork belly that I bought from Whole Foods. Fresh pork belly has a richer flavor than frozen. First, cut the pork belly into thick slices, then into bite-sized pieces. Cutting the pork into even pieces helps the seasoning soak in more evenly, making it tastier and helping it cook faster. Next, thinly slice one piece of ginger. Now place the ginger and pork belly into boiling water. Blanch removes excess fat, making the pork less greasy and reducing any unpleasant odors. It also helps the sauce flavors to soak in better later and blanch for about 5 minutes. After blanching, remove the pork, discard the ginger and the boiling water. Now let's prepare the vegetables to cook with the pork belly. Cut a small onion in half, then quarter it. Slice two green onions in half and thinly slice an additional piece of ginger. Prepare about 10 cloves of garlic. If you prefer a spicy key, add the dried chili peppers or pepperoncino. Feel free to skip them if you like mild flavor. Let's move on to the sauce. In a bowl, combine 2 cups of water, half cup of soy sauce, and half a cup of brown or white sugar. Add half a cup of cooking wine. Add 3 pinches of black pepper and mix everything well. Now, pour the prepared sauce into a pot and add the blanched pork belly and vegetables. Start by cooking it uncovered on high heat. Once it starts to boil, cover the pot and reduce the heat to low, letting it simmer for about 30 minutes. After 15 minutes, open the lid, remove the vegetables to keep the flavor cleaner, and skim off any excess fat if necessary. This will make the taste even lighter. Cover again and simmer on low for another 15 minutes. While the pork belly simmers, let's prepare the stir-fried green beans to serve on the side. First, bring a pot of water to a boil, add 1 teaspoon of salt, and blanch the trimmed green beans for about 6 minutes. Trimming the ends gives green beans a cleaner texture. If the pots are long, it's good to cut them in half. If you have a small red onion, slice it thinly. If not, regular onions work well too. Drain the blanched green beans and heat 1 tablespoon of oil in a pan over high heat. Add the onion and stir fry until it turns translucent. Add the green beans and stir for about 1 minute. Season with 2 pinches of salt and a pinch of black pepper. Then stir fry for 1 more minute. Once done, transfer the green beans stir-fry to a plate. After 15 more minutes of simmering, our braised pork belly is ready. The sauce has thickened and fully absorbed the pork, which has become tender and flavorful. Serve it over warm rice, sprinkle a bit of sesame seeds, and garnish with some sliced green onions for color. Wow, look at this! Mmm! The savory sauce pairs perfectly with tender pork. For a complete meal, serve it alongside the green bean stir fry for added color and flavor. This is truly one of the best Fraser Pork Valley dishes I've ever had. Enjoy this dish according to your taste preferences. How was today's recipe? The tasty sauce makes the pork belly so good with the rice. I hope you give it a try and I'm sure you will love it. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요. Bye bye.